sun setting at like 7.30 these nights. So till supper's finished, there's not a whole lot of time left to work. And we're just gonna take advantage of the daylight hours while we can. So we're gonna head out and I'm gonna microchip my donkey full Providence Cottage Ecclesia is her name and you saw me and we're trying to tame her so hopefully she'll just come to me in the halter tonight and um, what the purpose of this microchip or the purpose of the microchip is to give her a permanent identification with the miniature donkey registry and uh, it's like a little microchip it doesn't emit a signal but it like there's a barcode like in it and a little scanner can pick up what that barcode is so that if she gets lost or you know, she lives 20 years and her you know, papers got lost or she didn't get transferred. Someone can scan her um, behind her ear and pick up her identification number that's on file permanently with the registry. So let's get some stuff together and I'll talk more about it in a sec. Putting up wood? Yeah, in the loft. Okay, so my buddy Lepanto here is going to help um, help me talk about this. We've got the microchip here. It's in this little needle. Um, we're gonna just basically lift the back skin behind this uh, Ecclesia's ear, and we're gonna insert the, the needle in that skin, not in her muscle, not in her anything else, just like in that layer of skin between, um, between the muscle and, well, the top layer of the skin. And it's gonna, um, kind of I'm going to push it out with the back of the needle and the needle end is kind of um, tapered it's kind of at an angle and I want that uh, the open end to be um, facing down because when I put that in I want to be able to pull the needle out but not pull out the microchip anyway I'm gonna hope that I've got good success with this tonight. Hopefully she'll just be nice and calm. Ecclesia is the one that we've been trying to tame. And when she's little like this, it makes it easier for me to handle her. So we're gonna get this implanted behind her ear and then hopefully not run into any trouble. Um, this is a really fast process. You can hire a veterinarian to do this for you, but um, my vet trained me how to do it and it's very simple. And yeah, it's really important to do if you're gonna register your animal. So let's go see if I can get her in halter. And this is a, a jack donkey that I implanted when he was a foal. And I'm just kind of feeling for his implant and I can actually feel it. It's like a little tiny, um, you know, half the size of a Tic Tac. So I can feel it there behind his ear. It's still there. It's good to check every now and again because these are not supposed to migrate, but every now and again, I guess they, I guess they could man-made. So there it is. It just feels like a little, like a little tiny bone. It's not supposed to be there. <laughs> All right, well, I've got her uh, halted up here. And we've got her curious neighbor here looking on. All right, so she's got such pretty little soft ears. I feel like a rabbit. <laughs> so what we're gonna do for her is we're gonna just pick up this loose skin here. You can see it's like the tuft of a little kitten's neck. And um, you pick it up and you insert the needle in here and there's like a void. You'll feel once you poke through with the needle, there's a void and then you just um, press the plunger and it inserts a microchip and then you pull the needle out slowly and um, she shouldn't be a problem. She'll bleed a little bit, but she'll be all right. So let's get her used to us touching that ear and um, I'll get a partner. I'm gonna hold her for me so that she's nice and still and we'll get it, we'll get it in there. Won't we, sweetie? Yes. Yes. Well, provided you don't bump that, should be a decent setup. So I think best if you straddle her. And she'll feel calm. Huh? Straddle her and hold her head. Okay. I need to get to this here, right? Yeah, I need to. You want to go around the front so you're not yeah. down by that? I think so. Just hold her head. Hold her head still. Don't let her jerk, please. I will do my absolute best. It's hard to hold them when they... Hold her however you can hold her still. Alright, you're even smaller than the last one, huh, honey? I need to be able to get there. Your head's going to get in the way. So, just getting her used to my touch. The needle's here. Don't let her jerk away. You got her pinned? Yep. Well, so as well as well as I can. I don't like this, but... Hi, 
Good girl. Good girl. Okay, it's in there. I feel under her skin. She's bleeding just a little bit. It's like a little ear piercing. And I'm just gonna rub it around a minute just to make sure it doesn't come out the hole that I put it in. Okay. I'm press it a minute. The bleeding kind of stops. Should be a good girl. Good girl. Oh, you are a little bit less um, of a male. Yeah. Because you're a good girl, aren't you? You want to go back with your friends? Go back to mommy. She's probably going to want to nurse on her mama. Get some comfort. Yeah. So, good girl. Good girl. You're all very curious. Hello, donkeys. <laughs> So I talked a little bit about the point of this microchip is for the registry. And the mini donkey registry is a closed registry, which just means like if you want to get in the registry, you have to have traceable lineage back three generations. So everyone that was ever going to be in the books is in them, um, historically speaking. And then moving forward, you have to have both a dam and sire, great grand dam, great grand, grand and then great grand, all registered. So it's a little bit of an exclusive book, and we're really proud to be kind of a part of it. Huh. I don't know, are you? Absolutely. It's kind of a great thing. Right, you want me to walk her back in there? I can do it. Okay. Oopsie, sorry. Okay, that was another successful farm endeavor here. You never know how those things are going to go. When you're working with creatures that have a mind, an instinct, but not an intellect, it can get a little bit crazy sometimes, but she was a really good girl and behaved marvelously for that uh, implantation of a microchip. So that'll serve her well. Um, and I, I've got everyone microchip now, no more doing that this year. If you want to hear more about mini donkeys, please comment below and let me know that. I know that they're a unique um, homestead animal. I had a hard time finding information about them when I was first getting into the breed, but um, now I kind of found my, found my sources, but I would like to be a source if you want to know more.